What's up guys, and welcome to a new episode of Super Paper Mario. As you can see, I'm up here now. You probably saw how I get back up here, because you probably watched me go there. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about right now, because I am terrible at wording things. Anyway, how are you guys doing? I'm doing fine. I just watched that Nintendo Direct, it just like... Uh, four hours ago, I think it was, and they trolled me. They trolled me really hard. They said something like, if you like Mario and you like RPGs, and I'm like, holy shit, it's happening! It's happening! Paper Mario is happening! And then they just go talk about that Puzzles and Dragons game that has no interesting story at all, so... Yeah, they trolled me hard. But anyway, I want to demonstrate something here. If you go to important things, you can use your return pipe. If you use the return pipe, you will return to flip side. And you might think, uh, it's not going to do nothing because I'm already in flip side, right? Nope. Watch this. Voila! Looky here. A shortcut to the, to the portal to the next world. This is going to come in handy a lot in this game. Because, um, there's some, the heart pillars are going to get further and further away from this area, and, and if you don't use the return pipe, you have to go through that whole cutscene of g g going through that elevator, and yeah, it's just a lot easier to, um, use the return pipe. Without any further ado, let's go through the door. With Princess Peach at his side, Mario set out once again bound for adventure. This time, our heroes were tasked with finding the mysterious charmer Merle. If Merlin was right, then Merle was the key to finding the next pure heart. Never one to flinch from danger, Mario set out to find Merle's mysterious mansion. But little did he know the evil works of dastardly Count Black awaited at every turn. Chapter 2-1 Bugging to Merle's. And here we are in Gloam Valley. I remember the name of like every location in this game. I love this game so much. The Pure Heart is somewhere up ahead. Yes, it must be. But it could be a ways. Let's go. So yeah, Nintendo had that Nintendo Direct today. Haha, -ha, I flipped to 3D and got a level up at the same time. Wow. I knew my I knew I was about to get a level, so I decided to see what would happen if I flipped at the same time I hit an enemy to get a level up. So you're gonna need Princess Peach right here. She can't flip, and you shouldn't flip on those things there, because if you do, you will um, fall off, because they're only in 2D. That Goomba's gonna kill himself, isn't he? Yep, he did. Hey, Cheap Cheap, die, Cheap Cheap. So yeah, um, about that Nintendo Direct, I was kind of... Um, actually pretty impressed with the fact that they, uh, most of the direct was disappointing, but, um, I was real happy when, when, um, they announced that there was going to be a character roster ballot for Super Smash Brothers, and I'm like, this is finally my chance, I can finally get Fawful into something that's not an RPG. So, of course, I voted for Fawful, and I also voted for, um, Paper Mario, which is basically Mario from the Paper Mario games, and Waluigi, which I just think Waluigi deserves to get in. Jump on the damn thing. I just think Waluigi deserves to get in if um, Mario, Luigi, and Wario are all in. And here we have a... a, um chest, which will contain a key. Now we can open that door back there. 
But yeah, I if you've watched my videos, you know that I really want to see Mario RPG characters and things that are not Mario RPGs. The, the I got so excited when they said there was going to be a Paper Mario stage and and look little peaches. I got so excited when I heard there was going to be a a Paper Mario stage in Smash Brothers on 3DS and then God damn it. Oh yeah, this is how you do it. You can just take a shortcut up here. I think. I think you can. Yeah, you can. Awesome. But, um... I was excited when they announced a Paper Mario stage for Smash Brothers, even though it, um, was from Sticker Star. God damn it, Mario, you're supposed to jump when I tell you to jump. And all my little peaches are dying. See, I don't even need peach for this. And here we have another door. But I was really excited. I've said this like five times now. Needless to say, I was excited when there was going to be a Thousand Year Door section in the Paper Mario stage. I wasn't so impressed about the Sticker Star stuff because I can't stand that game. But I was glad they were repping Thousand Year Door. And from that, I thought they were going to rep every Paper Mario game. But apparently not. It was only Thousand Year Door and Sticker Star. Predominantly, Sticker Star was the dominant one in that. And that made me kind of mad because this one's actually my favorite and it got no... No section at all. There are two things I hate. Old dudes with mustaches and old dudes without mustaches. So take a hike, old dude. Go up the road to Murley's Mansion, will ya? Hmm. If he says that to Mario, let's see what he says to Peach, because she's not an old dude. Hot girl alert! We must have been fated to meet. Yes! You are my destiny! Please, go out with me! <laughs> what a silly man you are! I'm very sorry, but I must be somewhere. Where? Merley's mansion? I wouldn't go there if I were you. You'll get trapped there and bad things will happen and you tell Mario to go there. Wow. Trapped? Bad things? What are you talking about? Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't even want to remember it! But now that you're with me, you don't have to worry about all that, baby. Because I'm your fate, your destiny! Uh, thanks for the info. If I don't come back, will you perhaps try to save me? You know, like a certain mustache man used to do. You just got burned. Man, I almost landed on him. That you died. I almost landed on him when he was biting. I think you can jump on him when, they're, when their head is turned like that. Okay, so last time we did this as Mario. Let's see what Princess Peach looks like with this thing now, shall we? I'm gonna try to do it with every playable character. Spoilers, there's four of them. I'm not gonna spoil who. Princess Power! That was probably a very generic. Damn it! I'm supposed to be killing everything. It's probably because I jumped. <laughs> I'm not gonna save yet, of course. This is a slow flower. It temporarily slows time to a crawl. You also earn triple points and coins. Same as the speed flower, except it's slow. Yeah, there's one of these things here. I'm not gonna bother getting the rest of them. You're supposed to go down this pipe here. 
And I think... Yep, there's a switch, hidden switch. Normally you'd have to use Tippy to reveal that, but you can actually hit it while it's invisible. And then there's this thing. Let's see what items I have. Okay, I do not have any good attack items. They duplicate, like, infinitely, so you can wait till, like, there's 15 billion of them on screen and then, like, kill them all and get points for all of them, but I didn't have any good healing items, so... Oh, hey, it looks like, uh, a Nobby? Something like that. Good vibes! Them vibes set off my blow stuff up sensors! You like explodants? POW! I ain't sensed real good blow stuff up vibes in 1500 years! Boom! I gotta check those vibes out a little more close, like, SCRACK! Check it out! Just answer a couple questions real quick! SPLAM! Okay, SPOOM! Kinda like the bo the bombs that talk like that in Thousand Year Door. At least one of them talked like that, I don't remember if all of them did. Here we go, SPLAMO! You stay up wondering if anyone gives presents to Santa Claus! Totally! For some reason, you clean your room before a test! Absolutely! Green. Okay. If you got that reference... <laughs> you probably hate that movie. I'm one of the few that don't, but anyway. When someone says, let's just be friends, you think, yeah, whatever. Um, that's actually something I can actually relate to, because, yeah, I'm not going to say any more. And how? You don't really understand why I'm asking you all these weird questions. Truer than true. You think shopping online is a wonderful and magical experience. All my life! You once put on a shirt inside out, and but didn't bother reversing it before going out. I, I actually remember doing that a few times. Actually, I probably played on backwards, not inside out, but whatever. You want to be sleeping when you're awake, but when you're tired, you want to wake up. Always. That always happens to me, man. This guy knows me. You're getting real tired of these questions. Uh, yeah. Got it, got it, got it! Spoon! You got some tasty vibes! Splam! My mind's made up now! Splap ow! You guys are worthy of my power! The explosive pixel named Boomer became your friend. Use Boomer's power to blow up foes and destroy blocks. When you want to switch pixels, just go to the... Uh, okay, I know that. Each second explodes into the next! Spammo! Bombs away! Spoom! Now you can blow up this crack here. You can press 1 to detonate him after you set him down, too. Now you're going to need Mario. Flip into 3D and get through here. There's another chest. Open the damn chest, Mario. Got a watch it card. Get off my rug! You fucking liar, I was not on your rug. I don't know why his card was just so randomly there. This is a completely different chapter from what he's in. I don't know why they put his card there. That's just weird. I just randomly wanted to do that. You can die. You can die too. God damn it. Sometimes you just shake the Wii remote and nothing happens. It just doesn't pick it up or something. So what you're supposed to do here is, I think, go to the very last door. Yeah, it's the last door. Huh, apparently you can't break those from below. But you're supposed to hit the switch. 
That was awfully rumbly. Something must have happened outside. Not gonna bother killing him. And now you'll come out of the very first door. And you'll see a new yellow and red door appeared over there instead of a rainbow and red. But I wanna go ahead and go through um, this door right here because there's a new enemy we haven't seen yet in here. The hell is that thing? So as you can see, you can jump all you want on him and it will not kill him. You can't get points off of this. But I wonder if it adds to your sequential jump record, because there's a record of that this game takes. And I've never bothered trying to see... Okay, I think that's enough jumps. I don't think I've done that many sequentially. But you have to feed him a bomb and he'll die. Nothing much else you can do. You can drop down like you did in the other one, but you'll just come out this one. Well, not this one. This one right here. And there's just another one of those guys down there and some coins, but I don't really care about that. Now, pink asses! That was an epic excellent. There's the end of the level, but before that, flip to 3D and there's a hole here. You might think that's death. It's not. There's chests here. You got a swooper car. That's those bats up there. And then this one. Slurp. And the slurp is that thing that ate the bomb. And now, there's Merle's mansion over there. This is that Starblock's going to take us there. So in the next episode, we're going to enter Merle's mansion and see what's up. See you guys later, after... End of chapter!